Hello, coffee lovers. Damien here from Depachi Coffee Company. I'm here at the famous uh, Roselands headquarters and I've got some exciting news. Mazza have finally introduced the Super Jolly V. So, Super Jolly E, you guys are all familiar with. It's uh, iconic in small to medium coffee houses. You know, doing about 10, 12 kilos a week. You know, 350 kilowatt motor, 64 mil burrs. So we've finally got the upgrade. So this has been around since 1971, the Super Jolly model. So Mazda have finally introduced this great upgrade. So we've seen it in Major and Rover, Rover S, Major V. Now we've finally got the Super Jolly V. What's new in the upgrade? Mazda are claiming that these uh, Vs are 20% faster than the Super Jolly E as well. So I've always thought that Mazda Super Jolly's, you know, 10, 12 kilo a week, uh, medium sized coffee house. With the V, Mazda is saying that these guys can do two to three kilos a day, maxed out at about a kilo an hour, which is, it's getting up there in volume. So in the older model, you would take off the, the little cover there and you've got a clump crusher that's vertical and horizontal, small pieces of steel that is a clump crusher to avoid any clumping. In the new model, they're, more of an element shape, so they're more of a W, which um, is a lot better. They they say that this is giving you a better a better dose, more consistent. So because of their twenty percent faster claim, they've actually um, upgraded with a fan. So the previous uh, model didn't have a fan at the back, so now I've got a fan. So twenty percent faster, cooler, makes sense. In the previous model, um, on grind, it would uh, the static would basically follow the flow of the blade spinning. So typically the grinds would spit to one side, that spit to the left side or the right side as the blades are spitting. Um, with the new way, or the upgrade, they're dropping more consistently straight forward and straight down. So because of that clump crusher and the static upgrade, it's a lot more consistent and um, a lot less wastage, a lot easier to catch all the grinds. Just aesthetically, um, you know, I can see that the button is different, the power button. So we can see that looks a lot sexier for me. That's uh, it's all about looks. One thing I really love is this little magnet that fits on the hopper. So the hopper's a little bit different shape, okay? And then we've got this little magnet clip that fits in. So you can put your little, um, you know, tasting cards here. And then I also love this little pin. So the old plastic black has been replaced with this nice stainless steel, good looking pin. Now, what I like about this grinder the most is the ability. So if you've ever had a grinder that needs a clean or it's blocked, unwind the grinder, undo the collar, give it a little brush out, vacuum, whatever you do, keep it clean. These ones now with this upgrade, they come in with these four little Allen keys here. So you just remove these little rubber tabs here and then Allen keys basically come off. And then I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So what you can do then is lift up that whole set of burrs and collar, clean your grinder, nice and easy, and then you replace that and you do not lose your grind setting. That is amazing. If ever I've cleaned the grinder with grinder pellets or I've given it a vacuum, it takes a bit of coffee to dial it back in. So there's gonna be a lot of wasted save there. So another upgrade is the ladle. Um, it locks in the portafilter a lot more snugly. Um, the old way, was that goes on there like that. You know, that's pretty, pretty easy to use and, and pretty solid. But I just like how this locks on there like that. And that, you know, that if it gets bumped or it's not gonna fall off. So those little, those little lugs there hold that porta filter in and um, there's no way that's falling off. In the previous model, it was just basically a button and you had a little free pour button there, the little hand. So now you've got the ability to change you have a micro switch here as well. So you can engage that and use that, or you could just replace that and just leave it, you know, a non-existent feature and just use um, exclusively buttons. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you all the different programs. So this has got 16 languages. You know, there's a lot of functions on here. So we're gonna get in a little bit closer and we're gonna see the screen. So the first thing that sticks out to me is the extra mode, the extra button. Um, so typically it'd be a single handle, double handle, what people are doing now is they're doing a bigger basket for a naked, you know, 25 grams or over, 26, 27 grams. So they're giving it the option to have three doses. So a cool feature is uh, the ability to pause mid, um, mid grind. So I can start that process now, I can stop, I've got 30 seconds countdown while that pause mode holds, then I'll recommence, but I can recommence at any time. Um, so let's go through the menu. So, you know, we've got the different times for the three different buttons. 
14 is the number of times it's been pressed or shots. Um, in the menu section, you've got grind settings. So dosing time. Easiest way to just change the time, first dose time. And then I can just up, up that there. So the buttons seem a lot easier. They seem a lot more durable. They just seem sturdy and it just feels really well made, this whole screen. Um, let's get out of there and let's go back to um, settings. Let's have a look at settings. So 16 different languages, as I said, clock and display. Okay, Arabic, English, French, Greek, Indonesian. Wow, Italiano. Why isn't Italian number one? It's an Italian grinder. Okay, no, because I don't know how to speak Italian, but that's how you change that. Clock display, pretty self-explanatory. Information, let's have a look at that. So dose counter, daily stats, alerts. So if I've got multiple locations, I'm gonna get to that a little bit later, but there is a unique barcode on the side of this grinder and you can download the Mazza app on your smartphone. And what you can do is keep a track and a history of the maintenance and the shots that you've um, delivered in your multiple uh, locations or cafes. That is a really cool feature. It's like knowing when to change burrs, knowing how many shots you know, a location has done. I think that's a great feature moving forward. Burr history. So I can look at, you know, when you change the burrs, it'll have a log of when they were changed. There'll be updates available for the firmware and that through the Mazza app. Service. Password. And then we look at burr management. Okay, change burrs, change alerts. Okay. We've got activate alerts, reset counter, so you can reset the time, you know, from the count when you change the blades and, and all that sort of business. So what we're gonna do is we're going to show you the app now and show you how that works and show you how you can um, manage multiple sites and, and, and be able to get updates and, or alerts more so on um, you know, management and, and when you need to do maintenance. So I've downloaded them as an app on my uh, smartphone and you can see open menu, go to my grinders. I'm gonna add a new grinder. Okay, so my grinders and I'm gonna go plus there and then it's gonna scan, start scanning and then um, we're gonna get that down there Okay, terms of service, okay. And now we've got this uh, grinder registered. So once we get into that grinder, um, we get into that, the, you know, the home page of that specific grinder. We can put in the address for that grinder. We can have um, all the details that are needed to manage or monitor this specific grinder, what location and, and burr management and what we're up to and how many shots and all that sort of stuff. Now the cool feature with this new grinder is that as the burrs wear, so as I've got that, you know, at zero, okay, as my one and two change, I can basically just undoing these three little screws here, you can twist this little ring around and always have it on a zero-ish and then move from there always. For me guys, the best way to compare these two grinders is the speed that it's gonna grind at. So, the easiest way to do that is what I've got is 21 gram baskets, and I've got the double set up at 22 grams on this uh, Super Jolly E. That's 11.9 seconds for that 22-ish gram shot, all right? So, what we're gonna do is we are going to grind, and let's see how we go. So it's nearly 12 seconds. And not as consistent as I'd like. That came in at 19.3 grams. The first one was 20, 22.3. Let's go again. Twenty-one point one. So I've got about an eight point eight gram variance. So you're looking at about twelve seconds for about 21, 22 grams. Let's go over to the V bottle. Well, I've set this up at nine point seven seconds, giving me the same twenty-two gram dose. So already we're two seconds faster than the than the E. Oh, straight away I can see it's faster. It spits straighter. It spits vertically.
So you can see, you know, 23, and that was 19 and 20, and this was, so basically two grams more, two seconds faster. I'll do one more. So 22.8. So we've got a gram or two more in here at two seconds faster time. So for me, this is proven as a faster grinder. So these are both brand new grinders. They've both been dialed in at exactly the same. Okay, so they are very comparable in the grind particle size. So guys, hope you enjoyed my quick preview of the Mazza Super Jolly V. Now, remember these guys, they've just come to Australia. I think this is probably the first preview of the Mazza V in Australia. That's what we do here at the Parchi. We've got all the brands. We're preferred distributors and um, we, we're never short of stock. We've got every color available in, in black, white and uh, aluminium. And they're $1,649 at the Parchi and we ship Australia wide for free. We are the place to go to for all your coffee needs. So guys, don't forget to head to www.depachi.com.au. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell notification so you get notified when new videos are released. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Yeah.